When all of mankind has a common enemy in this virus, why have we not joined together at last in order to fight it? I'm afraid of the answer. Your character takes a really provocative journey in that she's sympathetic, but also doing something complicit in um, transmitting AIDS for money. Could you talk about how that underscores what's going on, uh, particularly in uh, the third world? Um, my character is pregnant and she's infected with HIV AIDS, but she doesn't know it. And she also has a son and she's um, selling and buying um, uh, blood for the for the black market and um, she's forced to do that because she's she's impoverished and so she's up against the wall and she um, she finds herself in a situation where she sees that something is going on from the villages that she's been visiting and dropping blood off and picking them up and she sees that people are getting sick and she doesn't know why and she decides that um, she doesn't want to be a part of it so she tries to flee so what would I should do? Working with Lucy Liu in Chinese, uh, did you see something very special emerge from her as an actress, something new? One thing that I, I think was very interesting about Lucy's own journey on the film is that it took her to very vulnerable places. We don't usually get to see Lucy, who kicks so much ass on screen, um, operating from a place of vulnerability, but I think returning to the language of her household when she was a little girl um, really did help bring out those, those moments of pure vulnerability. And she also understood that in China, people's experience of AIDS was one of fear of the unknown. Can you talk about why it's so important to have celebrities uh, attached and uh, who are involved in spreading the words about this pandemic? It is so critical for celebrities to uh, lend their names and their support to the visibility of HIV and AIDS, particularly when it comes to young people. Uh, young people are very uh, impressionable and where the stars go, what they do, if they're talking about condom use, if they're talking about negotiating safer sex, young people see it as cool. She's gone, Mary. What do you want me to do? Please, we have to save the baby. Give it a chance. It could have only been just two minutes. If it's not brain damage, it's going to be sick and have no parents. Mary, Mother of God, pray to it or you'll go straight to hell. Could you talk about why it's so very special for you to be here at GMHC for this press junket? You know, I mean, they're here for one reason. They're here f to help people. They're here to bring awareness. And, um, and that's just not awareness to, to, to adults and people who use drugs. It's for people who, are, who have kids and people who are, you know, if you go around the world and you understand what's happening in, in Africa and in China and in Thailand and, you know, places that you wouldn't imagine. I've been on the junket and people said I had no idea that, I mean, I knew Africa wasn't, you know, was infected with AIDS and HIV, but I didn't know that was happening in China. 90% of the people in the world who are living with HIV do not know they're HIV positive. 60% of the people in the world with HIV are women and children. About overwhelmingly those people, both in the world as well as in the USA, are people of color. Um, clearly we have uh, challenges before us as we look at HIV in the next 25 years.